one of the most amazing android 16 based custom rom if you are looking forward to we have one of the options available named as voltage os it's been some time since the first update so we are here with voltage os based on android 16 it's available for few of the devices officially few of the devices got it unofficially maybe even if you're using gsi like in this case i have gsi available too so you can go and install this thing some of the things which you are definitely going to love in Voltage OS brings you this app store. But this is if you have ever used Graphene OS, if you don't want to use Google Play services, in this case, you will not get the Google Play services by default, but you have the option to install them in a sandboxed environment. So definitely no tracking and quite good in the terms of privacy. This might be a very good choice for many of the users. If you're looking forward to some of the privacy focused custom rooms, then you have this option available. You also have some other things which includes this scope storage. Let me show you. This is the one. So if you enable this storage scopes option, as you can see, enabling storage scopes will make this app assume that it has all the storage permissions that is asked for, despite it's not actually having it. It's a very useful thing, to be honest. If you if you use this thing on a device, you might love this thing for sure. You also have the option to turn it off in case you don't want to use this feature. You have the option to turn it off. If you want to use it, you can turn it on. It's not enabled by default. You have the option to enable or disable this thing. What about the default launcher? It's quite simple that we do not pixel launcher. We do not have pixel launcher pre-installed. It's basic voltage OS launcher. So having few of the tweaks like in recent panel and so on. So same goes with the, all of these things available here. Recent panel, app drawer, miscellaneous, similar options available. What about some other things? Some of the great things include this. I have this app which is pre-installed named as firewall. So you can restrict the Wi-Fi, mobile data, VPN connectivity for particular Android apps. And this is enabled by default. This is available by default. You can configure it according to your own preference. And this is quite exciting. It is available in Voltage OS if you use official or unofficial version. Let's talk about some amazing things available in this case. For example, in the terms of customization, we have theming related options. So you have the option to choose a dual tone shade in quick settings panel, basically in notification panel, or if you want to enable or disable this thing, options are available here for you. Some other things which are quite common and basically not available with many other custom homes in Android 16. I'll show you later on. This is about wallpaper customizations, which are available in this case. So you can use, if you want to choose wallpaper blur, then you have the option to choose that. One thing which is actually unique in this case for now is the new status bar icons that is actually disabled by default, but you have the option to enable this thing. Move on to status bar customization. You have the option like use new status bar, which I was just using that and you have the option to enable or disable that. So that's actually quite exciting. Simply click on there, use system your restart. And if you're able to notice in status bar, we have the new battery icon, new Wi-Fi icon and so on. All the fonts have actually around fonts are actually a bit different as compared to the stock Android, like in Google devices, but it's okay. It's still okay. Then you can change the fonts and make it look like perfect Android 16 QPR one. And yes, that is actually so good. It still brings you some more options, some more configurations and customizations. For example, we have the free form launch mode, which means if you want to use some apps in floating windows, you have the option to further configure that you have native AOSP and so on. Some options, for example, component spoofing, which brings you some spoofing options. Play integrity fix, which means if you have that key box XML, you can pass a strong integrity and so on. Same goes with other spoofing options, Snapchat spoof, Google photo spoofing, Play Store spoofing. All these options are present in this case. Last time when I made video on this version on Voltage OS, it wasn't having much customizations with Android 15, but now it's quite amazing one. If you want to check it out, you can. You have the option to use unofficial or official versions. If your device has official version, you can install that. If your device has unofficial version, you can also check out that too. But even if your device does not have official or unofficial, if you're using any other custom ROM, what you can do is you can root your device, root your custom ROM, install DSU side loader and install this as a GSC, which I am actually also using in this case. So you can experience this thing in case you want to. GSIs are not meant for daily use, but in case you just want to experience it, you can. For now, this is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. I will see you in the next one. Take care.